What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back. So through the power of math, I have determined that I have accumulated a total of 16,529 discipline, approximately. Now, there's no way to see how much discipline I have overall, but rank 8 requires 21,500. So I'm essentially like 5,000 off. Um, as for getting that 5,000, we're just, we're, we're going to go do the quest. We're going to go down into the Everfall. We're going to hope for the best. Um, my choices are, are fairly limited here. Basically, I could go down into the Everfall and do that. Or I could just run around out in the wild and kill stuff until I get it. But the, I was looking up different ways to farm discipline. Uh, one of the most popular is killing the birds at the beach. And we, we both know how that went last time, so that's not happening. Um, the other method is all the way back where I was, essentially, um, the Great Encampment. I can go to the Great Encampment, and I can, um, I can infinitely kill skeletons there that a necromancer keeps spawning. And, like, each round should net me roughly, like, 5,000 discipline. But that's that's just really far, you know, it's really far. It's way out there and I'm not about that life. So instead, we're going to try and do Everfall. If I get my ass beat here, we'll consider going and, and dealing with that. Basically, I'm just going to kill everything I can and hopefully I get my my discipline sooner rather than later. I mean, to be fair, the last time I was down here, um, I didn't have, like, a real mage. The mage I had with me was doing dumb shit, so... Olivia, who is a much better fan of casting and blowing shit up, might make this more viable. Damn. That move eats stamina, but it absolutely claps. Actually, let me check something real fast here. Uh, so I've been fiddling around with my, my new microphone just to... Here we go. So now the uh, I have the new mic on right now. And then I have a version of it that has automatic noise cancellation. That's what you're hearing right now. Um, I'm going to be swapping to this mic soon, so hopefully it sounds good. But I wanted to do a stream with it first to hear how it sounds. I'm not, I don't have the uh, the mic stand for it yet. I'm using an old one, which gets kind of creaky because this mic is too heavy for it. I'm still missing the pop filter and all that. Uh, but I, I think audio-wise that it probably sounds better than the Logitech one, which is what we're on right now. I mean, I'd, I'd hope it does, considering it's like a professional raid microphone, but either way, I just wanted to make sure all of my uh, mic settings and whatnot were appropriate. I guess it also serves as a sneak peek of what's to come. All right, almost up to the big boy. Yeah, so I don't, I only want to do that if I have it actually down, because otherwise they just scoot out of the way. saving let's see can we take down the big boy this time i can get him to fall and then do my uh my crack thing on him olivia start casting please Oh, 
Did it grab me or did I dodge? No, it grabbed me. Oh boy. Please don't kill me. Back up a little bit here. Oh my god, it's drop kicking him. Fire spells are messing it up. <laughs> Bro, stop grabbing me. wiggling the stick but this thing lasts forever seemingly all right i thought she was casting a fat heal on me but that is not the case um there we go all right we're ready Finish him! Oh, man. God, that thing was not playing, man. Definitely does not make me confident about what's to come. And we got it, but... Get rid of that thing on the map, too. I would thought about, um... Running back to do the Necromancer thing and marked it, and then looked at the map and was like, Oh, God, it's so far. I'm not doing this. I just lost that that herb. I figured I could break the box and pick it up, but looks as though what doors were closed stand open. There was once. Hang on, there were two doors. What did it what did I just So what did it lock or unlock down here?
Is there a gate down here that's locked? Let me go hit that. It might be like I I thought at the bottom you fight a big thing, but I'm not seeing anything to go through, but at the same time, I'm not seeing it closes that. It might be something like after I get to the top, I can come back down and then those two gates that I passed that were locked or unlocked. What's that? Some more rusted plates over here to grab. No, I think we're good. getting saves after like every encounter. I ain't messing around. might be worthwhile um I would bet that we upgrade those and those are definitely better than the battle greaves tentacles To be honest, I don't remember if I can actually kill these things. Is that? Hang on. Okay, that was just one for me to grab. I can't, um, 
I don't think I can use it to return to here. I think I'm supposed to climb my way out of here, but let me go this way. I need a lever to get that open. It might, hmm. I mean, it's been a long time since I've done this. It might be that I need to report back and then I come down here to kill the thing. fight them yet. I need a lever to get that open. Yeah, I guess I just go up. supposed to just retreat. I'm pretty sure that that is it. I think you retreat and then the next time you come down here, you're like flooded with tentacles. So you were the one that was unlocked. Wait a minute. Let's try something. This doesn't screw me over. That should allow me to check out that that area that was locked on my way back down. A word, sir. Are you the arisen? I bring him. His grace has judged your feet in slaying the Hydra most laudable. To honor your noble works, you are hereby welcome to the worm. You may now accept orders from Sir Maximilian, captain of the hunt. Bring this writ to Sir Maximilian outside. The document confers the status of hunter of I got my hunter's license. Woo! There's a port crystal, Master. There's a port crystal. One can reach it from anywhere with the use of a magic item. This is a place quite restful to me. A light in the furthest depths, you say. In truth, even we pawns know for it. I can say with utmost certainty, we cannot know if this small aberrate, but the chance enough, we shall redouble our efforts here. Beyond those gates, you can summon pawns as necessity demands here at Pongan. All right, well, I'm going to go back down there. I want to check out that area that was locked before that I got open using the, uh, the teleport. I just really hope I didn't screw myself, because if I did, I'm going to have to, like, jump down to the bottom or something. It might also reset when I left, but I'll find out in a moment here. I waste spiders. Well, no, why not? Every little kill gets me. Every kill helps. Every little bit of XP. Wait for the bats to gather up. It's 
probably reset seeing that that was closed but I mean I'm, I'm gonna check don't hear the ogre it's two that are locked Three that are locked and there's the lever yep so it is still locked and i thought i had found a neat way to get past it that's some bs well we could do the the worm hunt or now that i have this i could um i could make my way north so what i'm thinking is since i have the poor crystal what i could do here is i could make my way all the way back up to the encampment and then I can put a port crystal so that if I ever need to warp up there again, I can do it. And I think that's a really good idea. So we are, we're going to do it. We're going to, it's going to suck getting up there, but I can kill the necromancer. I can get the last bit of DCP I need. If I really want to try hard, I could kill the necromancer and do it with warrior to get all the DCP I need for that. DCP referring to discipline points. But it's time to, to haul ass. We're going to see if we can make it all the way up there before I wrap up this episode. Targeting for 30 minutes, of course. Our standard wrap-up time. Um, I think I cut through like here. Alright, if I can get to there, I should be able to do it. Let's see. Unless there's something that's like really interesting to fight, I'll probably just sprint past most of the stuff I encounter. I don't need that on. We got daylight. Actually, I don't know if that's sunrise or sunset. The road splits here. It's rises in the Whatever east, the sets in the west. The roads are safer than the brush. Still, we'd best stay wary. Mm, feel that Seems fairly shallow. Best we did not stray too far from the capital. We're straying plenty far from the capital. <laughs> it's just like parkour extreme. How fast can we run all the way across the map? Wolves hunting packs. Here. Actually, I'm curious. Has uh, Valkyrie's inclination changed at all? I'm still Challenger Mitigator. Crossing a river. I think the last time I was here it was in the night time. You need to kill like four goblins for a quest. No, no, never mind. I don't want the XP. I'll wait until I'm assassin. The footing. Carefully. That should be the path that takes me up the mountain. The beasts of these parts are proving a greater challenge, to be sure. Now, in retrospect, this game probably would have benefit from horses or some form of travel. Ooh. Oh, we're not messing with him right now. 
That's the other thing that I feel like they could have improved is um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the spawns you fight are their set spawns. Meaning, like, that Cyclops will always be there. The one that was at the gate was always there. The uh, Griffin in the forest was always there. A lot of this stuff isn't, um, they're not random spawns. It's like they are, they're placed in the world. Which is one thing the game could have improved on. Because, like, you get to New Game Plus and it's like, I mean, Bitter Black, thankfully, has a ton of stuff you can fight. Uh, but before Bitter Black existed, I think that was probably one of the biggest weaknesses of the base game. Is just that... You know, once you had killed something, it wasn't there for you to ever fight again. And so, um, the end game of Dragon's Dogma very much turned into just er dragon farming. Which, to, to put it in perspective... Actually, hey, never mind, maybe not. This guy spawned. I don't know. Uh, but er dragon farming, I mean, to, to give a better idea, imagine playing Monster Hunter and just spending all of your time just farming Safi. Just kind of, like once you get to the end of the game, all you do is farm Safi. Just Safi killing, Safi killing, Safi killing, and you don't do anything else. That's kind of what happened with the base Dragon Dogma endgame. You essentially would farm this Ur Dragon thing, and there was like a worldwide leaderboard for like who had done the most damage to it, and you could level up your weapons on it and make them badass, and eventually your weapon would get high enough that there there wasn't any anything else to really do to it. Um, oh no, look, there's... Uh, so I don't know, because I don't think I added a mod that caused things to respawn, but we're definitely seeing respawns. I mean, to be fair, the last time I, like, really played Dragon's Dogma was, like, back on Xbox 360, so... Could have just been patches that's changed this, could have been mods, could have just been a, uh, a Dark Arisen thing. Either way, I'm almost at the camp. Some of these crappy swamps. Nope, you're not blinding me. This stretch was once a river. Hobgoblin! This is a formidable foe. Stand clear, it's got dragon spit! It's not bad. I crossed most of the continent in three minutes. Shit. Uh, to be fair, though, this is very much, um, very much because I have the infinite stamina mod. Otherwise, there's no way this would happen. The via, we're not fighting. I'm on my way. All right. Come, Great Bone Campment, we're here. All right, and let's put it, uh, just put it right here in the middle. This looks like a good spot. Boom. So now anytime I want, I can warp back to this place. Aye, just name it, sir. Well, we got some time. Let's try and do this. So, let me see where it's at. Um, do, 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 do. Sleep until nightfall, then farm the necromancer who summons the infinite skeletons. Do, 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 do. Um, just don't kill it and make sure you only go there and not your pawn. Kill all your pawns before you go there. Necromancer is easy to kill, and if you kill it, you'll not be able to grind no more. If you accidentally hit it, blah, blah. Uh, teleport a crystal, teleport back and forth, change classes. Um, let's see. I'm saying 5,000 or more discipline, depending on how fast you kill the skellies. There's, see, I don't know if I can get my pawns to stay back, though. Because I can't, I'm not getting rid of my pawns. I could always... Just keep warping with the infinite fairy stone. Now let me get rid of the map thing. Alright. The necromancer. Let me get my lantern on. 
so we can see. I think it's just out west because I remember this this strat. Like now, I didn't I didn't really remember it, but now that people are like, oh yeah, you can use this to farm. I was like, oh yeah. I think it's right here. Yeah, this guy. Stop. No, let him conjure the monsters. Let him conjure the monsters. Everybody come back. Everybody come back. Alright, well, I'm gonna let him conjure some monsters. I'm gonna do this until I get my rank. Uh, then we're gonna go back to town, but there's no point showing all this farming. Uh, so I'm gonna get my rank next episode. We are Assassin, and I will catch you guys then as we continue our journey.